A grisly discovery inside a dirty warehouse in Montclair. More than a thousand animals found living in horrible conditions. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo is live in Chino Hills, where some of the rescued animals are now being kept. Christy? Yeah, Lena, just the sheer number of animals left the Humane Society scrambling to find places to put them all. That's why within the last hour, they put up this chain link fence. And you'll notice on the other side, they are starting to release some of the chicks, but they still have rabbits, reptiles, and other birds to also take care of. In fact, one senior investigator calls this the worst case of animal hoarding she's ever seen. They have no food, no water. Um, loose uh, birds, loose uh, chickens throughout the entire warehouse. I that one, two, three, four. The site that traumatized a Humane Society investigator wasn't in a home. It was in a business park hidden by garage doors at 4650 Arrow Highway. Hundreds of dead animals and so many live ones, investigators are still counting them. It was deplorable conditions. Uh, there was deceased animals, live animals trampling over one another, um, cannibalism. Days after the discovery and crews were still removing animals. Neighbors say the owner is Gregory Bowman and they say his secret started unraveling last Friday. That's when neighboring business owner Nasser Coda says Bowman, for no reason, accused him of driving recklessly. Then assaulted him. I was trying to leave. I went in my vehicle. He ended up grabbing me by the bill of my hat, yanking my head down, and trying to grab the back of my head to throw it against the steering wheel. Nasser decided against pressing charges, but investigators say Montclair police found out Bowman had outstanding warrants. When they went to arrest him this week, they heard this sound and called the Inland Valley Humane Society. We didn't know, I never knew what he was doing in there. I just knew that it smelled funny over here. And these are some of the healthier animals. Neighbors tell us that the bowmen, they believed, had been selling exotic animals and that he'd been renting the unit for a couple of years and then started living in it a few months ago. And they say that's when things really got bad. He has been arrested on the outstanding warrant, but the Humane Society says he could also face charges of felony animal cruelty. Back to you.